New Fortnite season just dropped and your PC's already struggling. You're getting 180 FPS when streamers are getting 600 plus. Your edits feel delayed, your aim feels off, and you're blaming your mechanics when it's actually your PC holding you back. I've optimized thousands of gaming PCs and worked with your favorite pro. And today I'm showing you everything you need to max out your Fortnite performance from in-game settings to Windows tweaks that most people never touch. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly why your game feels slower than it should and how to fix it. Let's get into it. First, let's talk about the settings 90% of players get wrong. Performance mode versus legacy performance mode performance mode is what you want in 2025 it's smoother with only 0.7 milliseconds more latency than legacy legacy gives you slightly lower input lag but causes way more fps drops and consistent fps is what i'd want if you play competitive now in terms of graphic settings all you want to do is set it to low view distance you can turn this up if you want to as it doesn't really cause any issues with performance frame rate limit i would leave uncapped if you can hold above 240 fps otherwise cap at your monitor's refresh rate. Then NVIDIA reflex low latency, you wanna make sure this is set to on. Most people copy pro settings without understanding their hardware. A streamer with a 4090 can run different settings than you with a 3060. Optimize for your setup. But here's the thing, in-game settings only get you about 30% of the way there. The real FPS gains come from what we do next. You want to head over to your Epic Games launcher and click three dots on Fortnite and click options. You want to make sure high resolution textures is unchecked and pre-download stream assets is checked. These two options set properly are going to fix a lot of the stuttering and low FPS issues and bad input lag. Now, most of you installed your graphics card, updated the drivers and never touched NVIDIA control panel. That's a mistake. So right click on your desktop and head over to the video control panel, go to manage 3D settings, then you want to go to program settings and you want to head over to Fortnite. If you don't have Fortnite in the program drop list, just click add and click Fortnite and then click add selected program. You want to turn off anti-aliasing gamma correction. You want to turn off anti-aliasing mode and anisotropic filtering, turn that off as well. Then low latency mode, you can pretty much leave this off as NVIDIA Reflex does the exact same thing in the game. Then power management mode, you wanna make sure this is set to prefer maximum performance. Then texture filtering quality, you wanna to set to high performance. Threaded optimization, you can turn this on. And vertical sync, just make sure this is set to off. And then just press apply on the bottom right. Your GPU defaults to balance mode to save power. We're telling it to go full performance during Fortnite. For AMD users, similar settings exist in AMD software under gaming, then graphics, set texture filtering to performance, and then disable all the extra Radeon features. Now, we're at about 50% optimization. Most people stop here and wonder why streamers still have better performance. The answer, Windows is working literally against you. Windows 11 is not optimized for gaming out of the box. It's optimized for battery life and background tasks. Let's fix that. Open up your power options by searching up power in your search bar and click choose a power plan. And you want to make sure you're either on ultimate performance or high performance power plan. This keeps your CPU ready for gaming, not throttling to save power. Now you want to search up game mode in Windows and you want to actually turn on game mode because in Windows 11, it helps a lot. Now search reg edit, expand H key current user. Expand system, click game config store, double click game DVR enabled and just set this to zero. This disables the Xbox game bar because game DVR kills FPS and if you're not using it, I would just completely disable it. Now the next step that we wanna do is you wanna make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on. So right click on your desktop, go to display settings, scroll down to the bottom and head over to graphics and then click advanced graphics settings and ensure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on. This reduces latency between your CPU and graphics card. However, on Radeon graphics cards, be wary as this can cause a lot of issues. Now for background apps and privacy settings, we're gonna download something called ONO Shutup 10. It's free and safe. This reputable tool disables all the Windows telemetry and background junk automatically. So we're gonna be using that. And all you have to do in this tool is click actions at the top and click recommended and somewhat recommended settings. Then we are gonna click continue press OK, and then we're gonna scroll down and make sure to turn off disable app access to camera and the microphone, because we still want applications to access our microphone and webcam. And this is way easier than manually going through privacy settings and disabling them. 
The link is in the description. Now search performance and then just click adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. You want to check adjust for best performance and then just make sure that show thumbnails instead of icons is checked and smooth edges of screen fobs is checked just so everything still looks normal and then press OK. This removes animations that eat a lot of resources. Now, you've probably seen a dozen Windows optimization videos with people telling you to disable random services or run sketchy scripts. The difference here is everything I've showed you is tested on thousands of real gaming PCs. We know exactly which tweaks actually impact frame time consistency and which ones are placebo or dangerous. These changes don't just make your FPS number go up, they make your PC feel faster, less delay, smoother inputs, and that's what really matters for Fortnite performance. And if you want to go further than what's possible through settings, we've built a custom Windows version, custom timer tweaks, and kernel level tweaks that aren't available publicly. And that's part of what we offer at Silly. Now, before we jump into startup and background optimizations, there's something way more important that barely anyone that talks about your BIOS. Most gamers never touch it. They just install Windows and start playing. But if your BIOS isn't configured, your PC is literally running below its potential. Let's fix that. Go into your BIOS, usually by pressing DEL or F2 while it's restarting. Find a setting called XMP on Intel or Expo on AMD, enable it. This sets your RAM to the speed you actually paid for. For example, 3200 MHz instead of the default 2133 or 6000 MHz instead of 4800. This alone can boost Fortnite FPS by 20%. For AMD users, make sure Precision Boost Overdrive PBO is enabled. It lets your CPU boost to its rate of speeds during gaming. For Intel users, check that Enhanced Turbo or Multi-Core Enhancement is on. For X3D processors, these CPUs are beasts, but also sensitive to bad BIOS configurations. If you have an X3D chip like the 7800X3D or 9800X3D, watch my full BIOS optimization guide, which is linked in the description. I go through every power and some memory timing that impacts performance. You'll get more consistent frame times and way lower input lag. Open Task Manager and look at your Processes tab, which is going to be in Performance and CPU. How many processes are you running right now? If it's over 100, you have a problem. So go to startup on the left and disable everything except GPU software, audio software if you need it, Discord, Spotify, RGB software, all this can launch manually when you need it. Our optimized systems actually run 57 processes total. If you're running 150 plus, you're wasting RAM, CPU cycles, and creating micro stutters you don't even notice until they're gone. Getting your process count down requires deeper Windows optimizations, disabling services, cleaning up schedule tasks, removing blow, and that's the stuff we handle in our optimization service. But you can manually reduce it by being aggressive with what you disable. Good FPS doesn't matter if you're lagging. Let's optimize your network. Head over to control panel, then go to network and internet, network and sharing center, and then click connections right here. Click properties, and you wanna make sure everything here is unchecked except QoS packet scheduler and internet protocol version four then double click internet protocol version four. Now use these DNS servers default. They all, that's right. DNS servers have absolutely no effect on your games. They are helpful regardless if you want to block certain domains or make web pages load just a bit faster. If you really want to change them, then use 1.1.1.1 and alternate DNS server 1.0.0.1. Then press okay. Now click configure on your network adapter and then press yes. Head over to power management and make sure these two are unchecked. Head over to advanced and then any setting with energy efficient ethernet or a power saving setting you want to pretty much disable. So energy efficient ethernet, I want to turn this off. Interrupt moderation, you also want to turn this up because it helps latency. And then anything else regarding power saving, you want to disable like so. You want to also close bandwidth hogs like Chrome, Discord, and other people streaming on your network. Use Ethernet if possible. Wi-Fi will always have higher latency than wired. If you can't use Ethernet, at least make sure you're on 5 GHz Wi-Fi, not 2.4 GHz. For competitive players, network optimizations go way deeper, registry tweaks, 
interrupt affinity, advanced routing. We handle all that in our service. Here's the truth. Everything I just showed you gets you from terrible to decent, but there's a massive gap between decent and optimized. What you can't easily do yourself. BIOS optimizations, your RAM is probably running at 2400 megahertz when it should be 3200 megahertz with XMP enabled, which if you thought about what I said earlier, that should have been solved. Your CPU power settings aren't optimized. C states, voltages, timings, all default. Most people are scared to touch BIOS and I get it. Deep Windows optimization. Our custom OS runs 57 processes. Yours probably runs 150. We use a custom deep loader Windows installation, registry optimizations for lower latency, scheduler tweaks for gaming workloads, and timer resolution optimization. We also have hardware specific tuning. Your RAM can be tuned beyond just XMP or Expo. Your CPU can be overclocked, GPU overclocking for your specific card. All of this requires testing and expertise. The difference, DIY optimization, 180 FPS to 280. Professional optimization, 180 FPS to over 450 FPS. The gap is your 1% lows, consistency, and input lag. I show you the free stuff because it helps, but if you want the performance streamers and pros have, you need a the optimization they pay for. Let me show you what a real optimization looks like. Client number one, Ryzen 5 5600X with an RTX 3060. Before doing anything, 291 FPS average, 180 FPS in fights. After, 505 FPS average, 280 FPS in fights. Process count from 180 all the way down to 59. Client number two, i7 12700K with an RTX 4070. Before, 254 FPS average, stuttering in endgame. After, 550 FPS average, locked and smooth. Client number three, Ryzen 7 9800X 3D and RTX 5080. Before, 600 FPS, stock settings. After, 1000 FPS, full optimization. Process count all the way from 200 plus to 57. These aren't theoretical gains. These are actual client results from the same hardware before and after optimization. The pattern, everyone thinks they're optimized until they see what real optimization looks like. All right, let's wrap this up. But we covered in-game settings that actually matter, NVIDIA slash AMD control panel optimizations, window settings killing your FPS, task manager and startup optimizations, network optimization for lower ping, why professional optimization goes way deeper. Here's your action plan. Option number one, do it yourself route. Go through everything I showed you. You'll get better performance for free. It takes 15 minutes. Option number two, professional optimization. If you want the performance I showed in these clients results, 400 plus FPS, 50 processes, tournament level setup. That's what we do at Zilli. Our services, core optimization starts at $85, full hidden BIOS plus custom OS, plus secret AMD and NVIDIA driver tweaks. Our competitive optimization is $250, everything from the core, plus overclocking for the least input lag possible, plus specific game configuration files and one week support. We've optimized over 10,000 gaming PCs. We know exactly what works. Book at Zilli.net. Even if you don't book with us, use what I showed you today. Better performance equals more kills equals more fun. And that's what matters. Drop your FPS in the comments before and after if you try these tweaks. Like the video if it helped. Subscribe for more optimization guides. And I'll see you in the next one. Good luck in the new season.